Hey everybody, how's it going? The guitars you just heard on that demo were done using Neural Amp Modeler. The hype is real. Over the last two weeks or so, I've been getting video after video after video on my YouTube homepage of people using this. I've known about this for a while and it's been around for years, but only now it's, is it starting to get some real recognition. What is it? It is a AmpSim plugin. And the way it works is people capture their real life amplifiers, pedals, even plugins into a profile or a capture file and they load them into this. And that's what I've done. I've captured my real Engel Fireball 25. You've heard it on the channel a bunch of times. And I've loaded it into this. It's a semi-complicated process. If you watch the tutorials, I'll link one down below. Emil's done a really good one. And if you get it right, it sounds really damn good. The distortion character, like everything's the same. And um, I'll just show you the chain I'm using. And it's also the chain I used for the demo at the beginning. Effect of silencer to keep things quiet. NAA28 to boost the amp. And these are the real life settings I use on my 808 pedal that I've got. Drive down, level up all the way, tone it to a clock. Then a neural amp modeler with my profile. I haven't got an IR loaded inside this plugin because it is a little bit buggy, the IR section of this, which it's not a big deal, not a problem. I've got pulse loaded. You have more control impulse anyway. You know, we can use NAD IR or whatever. And I've got the barefoot pack. It's my pack. You know, download this below for free. Uh, it's a V30 pack with a bunch of different IRs. I've got barefoot six, which is a nice all round IR. <laughs> The plugin itself, you've got input, output, you know, self-explanatory. You've got a gate. It's okay. Uh, I prefer the effect of silencer though. And then bass, middle, treble. Now these controls, the, they don't really sound like you're turning those controls on the actual amp. It's more broad sounding. Kind of like you've got a, an EQ in the effects loop maybe. You see what I mean? It more broad. And that is about it. You can turn the EQ on and off, which is pretty nice. Uh, this is where you load in your capture or your profile. This is my own, the Res Angle second. I will link it below. It's completely free. Download it and try it for yourselves. So I'll just get some tones. So that's it boosted. I'll show you it unboosted. This is the, this is the Tube Screamer off. It's a fairly loose sound. I always think the Fireball kind of sounds like a tight, modern rectifier, but uh, it's still a little bit flubby, so I'll do like the boost on. It's nice for stuff like that, but let's boost it. The delay on it's the uh, the kilo hearts digi delay i've used it a bunch of times nice sounding delay <laughs> so 
So the big question is, is it better than Tonex? Honestly, I've only used Tonex like once or twice and it kept crashing on me. Maybe it was an early version. As with IK Multimedia, it's a huge rabbit hole that at the time I just wasn't interested in. And um, to get the full version, it's, it's a fair whack of money. But Neural Amp Modeler is completely free. It's open source. So, you know, people can improve on it over time. There's already a big community sort of growing around it on not just on YouTube, but they have a Facebook group as well. And I've barely scratched the surface. You know, this is my sort of second capture. Pit Priss or Phil Priss, he did um, a very good comparison between this, his real amp, and Tonex. And uh, I think this came out above Tonex, to be honest. I think it did a better job, a more realistic capture of his amp. And he did a null test too, so... You know, you can't really argue with that. That's about it, guys. Neural Amp Modeler. The hype is real. Check it out. It's completely free. And download my profile. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. Since you made it this far, I just want to plug my music. It's available from the links below. If you like metal, death metal, anything like that, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want to see more metal-related stuff. I'll be back sometime with a video on something else. So until then, ciao.